Hi guys, it's Penguin Design here, here to bring you the third part on our how to make a video game in Unity 5 tutorial series, specifically focusing on crossy roads. So if you open up Unity 5 and you open up the most recent project that we did, which was named Crossy Roads for me, you notice that we imported the model and applied all the animations to it. But if you haven't noticed, it doesn't rotate depending on what direction it's pointing. Second of all, although it's hard to tell, if you zoom in slightly, you'll notice that it has this gross white outline to it. So to fix that, we're going to go up to Edit, Project Settings, Quality, and then under Anti-Aliasing, Disabled. That will fix that issue. Now let's get on to making it so that it rotates depending on the direction that it's pointing in. We're going to open up our Bounce and Animation Controller script. So from your Bounce script, copy all of this If Import section, Control c and then paste it after this ELF statement. You can delete everything that's inside the brackets and you can get rid of the end statement as follows. Once you've done that, in the if statements condition, what you can do is you can select all of this, press Control C, Control F, Control V, press down, replace with this all, and it should delete it all. That's a quick little tip. So now that it's checked if we've pressed any of these buttons, what do we want it to do once you do that? So what we're going to do is write game object with a lowercase g, which means it's affecting this object dot transform dot rotation equals quaternion, which is the equivalent of a vector three for rotation dot Euler because we only want three terms. Now in this terms, because we pressed right, we're going to make it 0, 90, 0. We can now proceed to copy this line, control C, paste it in left, and instead make it negative 90. Up it would be 0, and down it would be 180. Give that a save, open up Unity, wait for Unity to compile, and as you can see, we have no errors in our console. Hopefully if we press play, it's rotating accordingly. Yeah, that looks good. So now what we're going to do is make it so the main camera follows the chicken. So we're going to go into our project window and in our scripts folder create a new C sharp script. And I'm going to call it camera follow. But you can name it whatever you want. Now I'll double click on this to open it up in MonoDevelop. And to begin with, we can already just delete the void start. This is going to take barely any code, but it's going to do quite a lot. So we're going to have to define two variables up here, one which is a public game object, uh, and this can be called whatever you want, but I'm going to call it chicken player, semicolon, and before we continue, press save and go back to Unity. Now with your main camera selected, drag the camera follow script onto it. As you can see, we have this chicken player variable here that we defined as public. Now select the parent object and drag it in. So now back in Mono Develop, what we're going to do is define another vector three variable this time. So write vector three, and you can name this like uh, exit position, whatever you want. But I'm going to call it should position or should pause because it's easier to write. So now we're going to set this variable that we just defined. So we're going to use uh, a function known as lurk, and we've been using it quite a lot, so you should be familiar. But if you don't know what it is, it linearly interpolates between two numbers. So we're going to write game object with a lowercase g um, and transform its position. Uh, and so then we go from this position to the chicken chicken player dot transform dot position, and we do this by time dot delta time so that it is frame rate independent. Hit save. And now we'll make one more line and that's simply game object with the lowercase g dot transform dot position equals a new vector three. Oops. Vector three and this vector three will be should position comma. We don't really need to transform its y position so we'll just leave it at the default which is one. And then it should be should position dot x. And this one should be should position dot c. Add a semicolon, save it. Now if we go back into Unity, wait for it to compile down there. Oh, 
hopefully, yeah, our camera is following our chicken, which is already pretty exciting. So we achieved that in less than five minutes or so. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.